Hello, how are you? In this video we will see what's so special about Elon Musk. This video is brought to you by the question response channel. The channel where you will find the answer to everything. Today the answers will be presented by Anthony Galli, Hector Quintanilla and Gaurav Pandey. We will start with the first answer of Anthony Galli. Elon Musk is a special snowflake because of the question he asked himself in college. What are the five areas that will have the most important effect on the future of humanity? AI, Internet, Space, Genetics, Sustainable Energy. This is special because most entrepreneurs ask themselves, what does the market want? React to the market. Ask yourself what the market wants. Gary Vaynerchuk. But the more powerful one becomes the less they should ask, what does the market want? And the more they should ask, what does the world need? With great power comes great responsibility. Spider-Man. A difference in question leads to a difference in outcome. Gary Vaynerchuk's question led him to create VaynerMedia, a digital ad agency. He saw the trend towards social media and knew that ads on these platforms were going to make a lot more money than traditional advertisement. Elon Musk's question led him to create PayPal, Tesla, SolarCity, SpaceX, OpenAI. And so whereas Gary Vaynerchuk makes his millions promoting the consumption of alcohol, junk food, soft drinks, and television, these are VaynerMedia's biggest clients, Elon Musk makes his millions increasing sustainable energy and potentially getting us to space one day. Pay attention to what people care about. And reverse engineer it. Gary Vaynerchuk. I admire Gary Vaynerchuk, but when it comes to building a company I think it's important to ponder how it'll positively impact humanity. And as it stands now, I don't think the world needs another ad agency, but I do think it could use another Elon Musk. But then again that would mean he wouldn't be so special. My motivation for all my companies has been to be involved in something that I believe would have a significant impact on the world. Elon Musk. We continue with Hector Quintanilla's answer. 1995, applied to Netscape for a job and got rejected. 1996, was forced out of his CEO position from his own company Zip2. 1998, struggled to make PayPal succeed. 1999, almost died when he crashed his $1 million McLaren F1. 2000, was kicked out of PayPal while on his honeymoon. 2000, got sick with malaria. 2001, Russia refused to sell him a rocket. 2006, first SpaceX rocket launch failed. 2007, second SpaceX rocket failed. 2008, third SpaceX rocket failed with NASA satellites on board. 2009, Tesla almost went bankrupt. 2013, first rocket landing failed. 2014, several Tesla Model S caught on fire. 2015, four rocket landings failed. 2016, Model X deliveries delayed over a year. 2016, 300M Facebook satellite rocket launch exploded. 2018, broke the internet when he took a puff of cannabis on a live show. 2018, the SEC filed a lawsuit against Musk. 2019, Model 3 deliveries were delayed. 2020, Tesla stock became the most shortest stock in history. To answer your question, what do I like about Elon Musk? I admire this man's courage and relentless character. While most of his critics would shrink before small obstacles in life, we can't deny that this man has proven to be an unstoppable genius of our era. What do you think? We will continue with Gaurav Pandey's answer. What exactly comes to your mind when you think about school? This. Or this. Or if you were like me then probably this. But this guy named Elon Musk started a school named Ad Astra which literally means, to the stars in Latin. Now here are some interesting facts about this school. Here in this school there is no rote learning but students are given real-life problems that help them develop critical thinking. And guess who were the first few intakes in the school? He pulled out his five kids from prestigious schools and started this school. Now there are a total of 31 kids studying in the school. I can imagine how lucky those kids are. There aren't any grades awarded in this school and it totally focuses on catering to education that matches abilities and aptitude of the students. Elon Musk has never publicly spoken about the school and neither do the family members of those 31 lucky kids. Here's an example of the sort of gameplay, roleplay at Ad Astra, that might be implemented in a module on morals and ethics. Imagine a small town on a lake, in which the majority of the town is employed by a single factory. But that factory has been polluting the lake and killing all the life. What do you do? It's posed that shutting down the factory would mean that everyone loses their jobs. On the other hand, keeping the factory open means the lake is destroyed and the lake dies. This kind of regular and routine conversation, gameplay allows the children to see the world in a critically important fashion. So clearly this guy apart from being ardent supporter of science and technology is fully conscious of ethical and moral implication these technology may have for us and our future generation. And this is what makes this guy so special that he is so visionary. Thank you for scrolling. Picture sources 2oceansvibe.com and Google Images. This is the end of the video, I hope you have more answers. If this answer helps you, please help us too by leaving a like and subscribing to this channel. It allows us to move forward on YouTube. We are coming to the end of this video, share your views on this question in the comments. See you next time.